Are you considering top dressing your lawn but you're not sure when to get started? If so, you clicked on the right video. Coming up, I tell you the best time of year to top dress your lawn, as well as cover a few points you may not have considered. Let's get started. Hello YouTube. Welcome to Project Golf Course Lawn Season 5. And the point of this video is to answer a question that I really can't believe I have not made a video on as yet. You guys know this year I've been on a really big kick as far as top dressing and providing top dressing updates, doing manual top dressing, using a machine to top dress your lawn, all this stuff. But I haven't answered the question, at least not in a video directly, as to when should you top dress your lawn. Now, the short answer is pretty simple. If you're dealing with a warm season grass like Bermuda, really, as long as you've got four to six weeks of active growth left, you're good to go. You know, really you want to do it when the lawn is still, the grass is still actively growing, so it's going to recover faster. Now, for in Georgia, what that typically means is any time between May and August, you're safe to go as far as top dressing your lawn. So if that's all you want to know is, you know, from a rough estimate, when should I do it? May to August, if you're dealing with a warm season grass, should be good. Now let's dig into this a little bit deeper though. When should you opt for the May time period or when, when it makes, might it make sense for you to wait a little bit? Now, if you take a look at my back lawn, it's a relatively flat surface, and if I, if I could choose to, to, to when to do this lawn, May would be the best bet. The reason being is in May, we're still gonna benefit from those heavy spring showers, which is gonna help reduce your watering requirements. You're not gonna have to run irrigation quite as much. And it also provides you with extra time to spot level any areas that don't come out as well as you would like. So for dealing with a flat lawn with warm season grass, May is when I would do it. That's, 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 a, that's a great bet. Now, what are some considerations that you want to make when it comes to a sloped area? Now, with slopes, heavy showers are kind of your enemy. I mean, you want water on the lawn because you want it to recover, but at the same time, like a heavy shower is going to wash the sand all over the place and create a big mess. Actually, the first time I top dressed my front lawn, I was in 2017, and I ran into that issue. So if you guys look at my lawn, there's, there's quite a slope here in the front, and an issue I ran into is that this area up here when it was top dressed like all the sand ran down and created like a band a really quick banding of, of sand a big clumping area all down here and that was in 2017 the first time i top dressed the lawn so this time around this year i did a, a very light contouring of the lawn in may but the heavy top dressing i waited until we did alex's lawn in july and the result came out a lot better we didn't get hardly that much rain in July, but we got plenty of heat, so the lawn recovered quickly, but I did have to run irrigation, so that's, a, that's something you have to want to, have to consider as well. Uh, when you're dealing with a slope, I would give up the free water uh, just so that the, you know if the sand, for the most part, is going to stay where it, where it needs to be. And you guys can see overall, the result came out pretty well in my opinion. I mean, this is, um, you know, if you look at how the lawn is, has, has bounced back, overall, the sand stayed where I, where I expected it to stay. There's not really any heavy buildup along here like I've had in previous years. And uh, overall, I'm very, very happy with the result. And a lot of that is due to the fact that I just, I just waited. I waited until July. So that's a really quick answer to that question. Uh, the, 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 again, for cool season guys, uh, the, answer, the response is pretty much the same. I mean, the, the months are gonna be different, but four to six weeks is really what you want for recovery. So you know that the, you're not gonna be dealing with a, a, a sand lot uh, whenever the lawn goes dormant. So guys, I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, leave a comment below and let me know. If you found that you, you did it in a different time period, like you, maybe you went as early as April or you went as late as September, October for a warm season grass and had great results, let me know that too. This is just general guidance that I think for the most part is going to be safe and is gonna allow you to get the best result. And again, when it comes to when, a lot of it has to do with your grass type and also whether you're dealing with a slope or not. So again, guys, hope you guys found this useful. Please like, share, comment. And if you're not yet a subscriber, consider subscribing. I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.